Hey everyone, I hope you guys are doing fine. So today we are going to start our first ever Canva lesson. I'm going to make it short and precise because it's just a start for you all and I don't want you guys feel overwhelmed. So yeah, we are going to take baby steps, but this course is going to help you all to, you know, uh, start earning from home and I would love you guys to introduce yourself as a Canva designer. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so we are going to start with the create a design option and this is going to be your first ever design on Canva. Anyways, uh, we are going to click here on create a design. You will get plenty of options here, whatever size you want. And uh, these are all the pre-made sizes for you. For example, if you want to go with the Instagram reel or uh, maybe you want to design a logo or you know you want to design a presentation and a youtube thumbnail whatever you want but here i'm going to tell you how to make a custom design so just click on here and let's go with thousand by thousand and it gives us an artboard to design our first ever design um, anyways, this is our artboard. You can redesign your uh, um, design here. My first design on Canva. All right. Uh, this is our artboard number one. If you want to add more artboards, you can add from here. Add design, add page. And it is um, providing us different artboards to design our stuff uh, be, but right now we need only one um, artboard just delete it from here delete delete okay here uh, on the left panel we have different options uh, design option elements text uploads projects apps i am going to tell you each and every uh, section from here all right <clears throat> excuse me um okay so for example we are going with the pre-made templates and you want to um go with the birthday templates let's click here and see you will get so many designs pre-made designs and you can you know just get any of them for example we are going to get this one just click on click on it and it will you know it will convert uh, onto your artboard all right uh these are these are called design elements these are all design elements you can update them it's always it's better to design your own um elements get your own elements so that you don't you know get the copyright issues you don't copy other some somebody else design okay so for example, I'm going to change all of these designs. Just click, hit delete, click, or you can even delete from here. Delete, 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 delete. Okay. Uh, I kind of like these bunting, so I just leave them here. You can just update the picture here. For example, you have your own picture. You will go to the elements. I don't have any picture here um or maybe let me check maybe i have something this is all my work so just ignore that i will try to find some picture okay yeah here you go i will just drag drop it here i have this picture and i want to update the font as well so just go there just click this text and you can get plenty of font option from here for example i am going with something kiddish or maybe a little bit different uh yeah i want to go with this one Okay, let's increase the width. You can just align. For example, it's going left, but I want it center align. Just go here. Here, you can get the alignments. Uh, 
Okay, so I um, aligned it center, but right now I need to make it. Um, I need to do it. Uh, I need to make it in the center of the artboard. So just click it here, or maybe just go here, position, and just make it center. Make it center, right? And I will align this text here. It's all up to your creativity, or it's all you know, uh, your own design sense. Uh, slowly and gradually, you'll get to know uh, what is the design aesthetics and how you can make your design appealing or you know, uh, more eye catchy. Anyways, um, I'm going to find so these are all you know, you, you can uh, change the font from here. This is for the font size, for example, I just want to you know, um, increase the font size or decrease the font size. I'll go from here from here you can just update the color click on here and you can uh, get all the color options or maybe you know i want a custom color so i will just click on here it's a eye color dropper so basically you can just click on it and i want this color for my this text so you know it exactly picked the same color so this is called the color picker anyways uh, uh you can update this font as well just go here and at the top it will give me the you know uh, the most recent fonts option so this is the one i recently used it is giving me the option i'm gonna use this right now all right and it should be center and it should be center line it's good to go okay uh all right so this is for spacing for example if you want to increase the spacing between the letters just you know move around just play around with this and you will get to know what is the desired um, spacing between the letters and here if you have you know three or four um, lines or a paragraph you can just add the line spacing from here animate you can animate your text for example if you are if you want to make an animated banner you can just animate your text or animate your uh, design elements i'm going to animate this one uh maybe you see i really want to or maybe this one i guess this is the one i like so i am gonna go with this one just move around the elements uh let's go and get more elements and fill this up okay so on the left hand panel um these are the elements for example you want um vectors or maybe images whatever you want you can get it from here i will just write um birthday and it will provide me all the graphics photos videos audio whatever you want i can get it from here so basically um i forgot to mention Canva has two op uh, two uh, options free and premium so basically uh, right now you need just the free option because uh, you're not that pro in the designing but once you will start earning or you will start getting the projects you can shift to the pro version all right so i'm gonna go here see all and I will get all the options. Let's go. I'm going to add this cake here. Just decrease the size. And or maybe these. Decrease the size. I will just move it. You can update the text as per your liking. This another. Just move the text. I'm using the down arrow, down um, arrow from my keyboard, but you can move it down with this one as well. But make sure uh, the alignment should be fine. Okay, so maybe I want some balloons. Mm -hmm. okay okay these ones just make them small them here are just copy control c control v and 
this here. Okay, so this is our birthday banner somehow. Okay, maybe I want to add something sparkling. Sparkling. See? These are the moving elements here. Perfectly fine for our banner. Okay. Alright, so I just want these stars um, at the back of all the elements. So I'm gonna go here, position, and to back. So everything is on top now, and those stars, the glittery stars, are at the back. Okay. And this is the design. For now, I'm not gonna make this video long because I want you guys to focus. I don't want your, um, um, I don't want you guys to get distracted from the design. Oh no, it's too, too tough. No, it's not tough. It's very easy. Uh, I will explain what fonts are, from where you can get the free fonts, from where you can get the color palettes, how you can, you know, uh, make your design more appealing. Uh, I will explain more, but this is um, it for now. I'm going to upload this video on my YouTube channel and I will share the link. You guys can just comment and ask me whatever you want. I'll try to help as much as I can. And um, I'm planning to make almost like um, one video each week so you guys can, you know, practice and um, learn how to be a Canva designer. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.